This is Michael Coburn, Product Manager for PMM. I'm happy to report that on August 1st, we're going to be having our 1.13 release of PMM, which is going to include 13 new features and 13 bugs. As part of the 1.13 release, our flagship feature is the release of Prometheus 2.3. And the advantage with this product means that it will be happening transparently for you to be able to grow to a much higher number of nodes or instances per PMM server. In our testing, we've seen anywhere from a 3x to 10x improvement. So this could mean that you could be taking it anywhere from 50 instances on an 8-core machine and scaling upwards over 100 or 200 monitored instances on a single PMM server. This is a substantial benefit to those of you who are struggling or reaching the maximum capacity in terms of hardware that you can provision for your equipment. Upgrading to PMM 1.13 is a transparent process in the sense that there are no additional actions required of you as the user of PMM server that you need to accomplish. And further, you won't lose any data during this migration process. What's going to be happening is that we'll continue to be able to read from the old Prometheus installation inside PMM server, as well as any new data is being written to the new Prometheus 2.3 installation. So what it means is as you hit your expiry date, which currently is 30 days at a default PMM installation, the data will age itself out of the Prometheus 1 instance and new data going into Prometheus 2.3 means that you won't have any gaps in your graphs. I want to say a big shout out to the PMM development team for all the hard effort they put into making this migration as seamless as possible. Hats off to you guys. One of the other exciting features in this release has to do with our network overview. We've got a new dashboard that helps you understand all things IPv4. So it's going to help you understand at a high level the network latency and throughput as well as digging into TCP, UDP, and ICMP uh, levels of metrics. As well, we've got a new dashboard that deals with NUMA. And for those of you who haven't experienced this before, NUMA is important on physical servers as it helps you understand the allocation of memory across different DIM slots within the memory, uh, memory bus of a physical server. And so for, for those of you running on bare metal, this is of critical importance and it'll help you ascertain whether memory is equally distributed and to get the most uh, performance out of your MySQL instance. As well, we've improved on the sharing of dashboards component of PMM. What this means is, primarily for Percona customers, when you share your data with Percona, the language is much more clear as to what is happening and what actually isn't happening. And we've also increased the timeout. So when you go to share a dashboard, it's clear that this data is being securely transmitted only to Percona and only Perconians can open it. And we've also set the threshold, the, the, the timeout, to be 30 seconds rather than the old 4 seconds. The advantage to this is if you hit the timeout, there's a better chance that the full dashboard has been populated and properly shared with Percona. On the update side, we've improved a little bit the widget that helps understand what new versions are available and which version you have installed. As well, we've taken advantage of the disable updates flag, which has been there through the Docker installation method, where you could specify whether you want enables to be functional or not. What we've done is we've improved it so that the button is actually removed. And so there's less confusion over whether I can actually do an upgrade or not from the web interface. This is of primary value to those PMM installations that have multiple users accessing the system. What this means is, is that you as the administrator can remain in control over when upgrades will and will not happen. And we remove the temptation or the possibility of somebody else triggering an upgrade. It's a small feature, but it's valuable for those of you who have multiple people in the same instance.